Okay, boys and girls, so I'm going to do a good deal of this math lesson with you. And for these next few lessons, we are going to have to be very flexible um, in this measuring unit. So today we are talking about inches, and I have given you a ruler, and the inch side of your ruler is where the numbers are spaced apart and they go to 12. So make sure you're working with the inch side of your ruler. Now, if you did not give these back to me, I think Zamaya, you gave yours back to me, so you will just be working only with your ruler. But if you still have your little orange square tiles, I want you to get those out. If you need to pause the video, you can. Um, and we'll work this page with both the square tiles and the ruler. Each square tile is one inch long. So how many square tiles would it take to go the length of this ruler? Yes, 12, because there are 12 inches in one foot, and one foot is a ruler, okay? So there are 12 inches in one foot, and make sure, like I said, you're working on the inch side and not on the centimeter side. The first thing the page wants you to do, you should be right here in your books, and this is page 645. It wants to know how many orange tiles, about how many orange tiles is this little ripped off piece of a ruler? About how many orange tiles is it? And if you laid the orange tiles on it, you should have gotten three. You should have gotten that it was three orange tiles long. If you do not have your orange tiles, you could put your ruler on there and see that it is about three inches long. Next, you have this blue highlighter. So get your orange tiles out and see how many orange tiles fit right above or right below, or you can do it even right on top of the blue highlighter. I'm going to give you a second to do that. If you do not have your orange tiles handy, take your ruler and simply measure. You start on the edge of your ruler where you see the first dark line and you measure. If you got about six inches or about six tiles, you are doing this correctly. Next, you have this crayon, an orange crayon, or a purple crayon, I'm not sure what color yours is. Um, I want you to take your orange tiles and lay them right along the top, or take your ruler, measure your orange crayon. If you got three inches, and you can sort of eyeball it and see it is about the same as that if you got three inches. You are right, it is th about three tiles long or three inches long if you're using your ruler. And lastly, now if my boys were here, y'all would tell me, I'm guessing that's a hockey puck, right? And so let's see how wide the hockey puck is. If you start your orange tiles here and go across, how many orange tiles long or if you take your ruler and measure it, how long is the hockey puck? Again, I got about three inches or three, um, or three square tiles. So that is how we're going to do um, the next portion of this. Um, I'm going to do a little more of these with you today because if I can get it to change, um, because I'm going to explain how we're going to do these um, if you can't find the item. So let's just, um, y'all keep following along with me in your workbooks. So it shows that the glue stick here is three inches long, so you can write three here. It is, it doesn't like that black marker. It is three inches long. Okay. Here it's asking for a crayon box, but let's say you don't have a crayon box at home. All of these items are things you would find at school. So let's say you don't have a crayon box at school, boys and girls. You can exit out and just write whatever you are measuring. Let's say you're going to measure 
Um, well, I'm trying to think of something you might have laying around. A remote control. Let's say you're going to measure the remote control that you have um, by your television. So you can just write up here, remote. Now, if you have a crayon box or a pencil box, feel free to use that. I'm just saying, if you can't find these items, just find something small enough that you are able to measure with an inch ruler, okay? So, the remote control, let's say you can't find a crayon box, so you get your remote control, and, and it wants you, the first time it just wants you to guess, to make a reasonable guess. If I eyeball this remote control, I'm gonna say mm, about five inches. Do y'all agree with that? Five inches. Okay, so then it wants the actual measurement. So this is when you will take your ruler out or your, um, or your tiles. And this remote control is almost six inches long. So I'm going to round. I'm going to go to my cl closest number. This remote control is almost six inches long. So was my guess reasonable, boys and girls? Yes, I was pretty close. My guess was reasonable, wasn't it? All right, next, you may or may not have your lunchbox close. Let's say you don't. So you cross it out and let's say you want to measure um, a picture frame, okay? So let's say you're gonna measure a picture frame. Mama has a picture frame um, on the table. So you can just write pick frame. Okay, maybe you do have your lunchbox nearby. I'm just giving you examples of how you can tweak this a little bit to make it work at home. So I'm gonna eyeball this picture frame and my best guess would be six inches. Does that sound good to y'all? So my guess is going to be six inches. And then when I take my ruler and I actually get an exact measurement, oh, boys and girls, Miss Allison made the best guess. It was exactly six inches. So um, I don't even have to ask myself if I made um, a reasonable guess because it was exactly the same, wasn't it? So I do want you to do one through, I mean, three through seven, just like we did this, okay? I want you to do it just like we did this, but I want to go to the next page. I want to go to the next page and do these word problems with you just because it's the first time that we've done any um, like this. So go ahead and pause your video and complete um, three through seven and then start it back and we will do eight, nine, and 10 together, okay? So pause it and then when you get through doing those, unpause it and we'll do these together. So right here it reads, Kayla's surfboard must be at least 15 inches longer than 48 inches. Now remember, we are underlining the important information and we're circling what we're looking for. So we know that her surfboard must be 15 inches longer than 48 inches. Should Kaya choose a surfboard that is 55 inches long or 65 inches long? Okay, what I know is it has to be 15 longer, 15 inches longer than 48. So I'm going to add 15 to 48 and see what I get. I know eight and five is 13. 